Uh, Nazm, appreciate you making some time for us here. Yeah, guys, no worries. Uh, I, I'm, it feels like a whirlwind just saying that. Like, have you been able to process all you've gone through over the last couple weeks and months? Like, has it sunk in yet? Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's kind of, you know, a little surreal to think about just, uh, you know, everything that kind of transpired this year and, and uh, you know, all the success we had. So, obviously, it was a great year. Sometimes you kind of just uh, catch yourself sitting back and reflecting about it. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, certainly that day with the Cup will uh, be a, a, a nice reflecting period also. That's awesome. I, I know that the kiss my ass part of the interview with David Amber and Elliot Friedman was the part that went viral but just before that you talked about folks that have been in your corner from day one and never wavered is bringing the cup home for them yes I mean uh, of course uh you know I've always appreciated my supporters and you know I've always uh you know tried to play as hard as I can just you know so they can say I told you so so I mean for me, uh, you know, I've just been uh, very privileged to have some, the, the amount of support I've had. Obviously, it's come with a lot of scrutiny, and there's a flip side to that. But uh, the people that have, uh, that have always supported me have uh, usually supported me my whole career. So, you know, that's uh, you know, it's nice that I get to share this uh, this moment with them. I know the Muslim community means a lot to you, and the, that Muslim community has been through a lot in London over the last year or so, disgustingly and tragically. Um, yet you guys made a point that the Cup Parade will start at the London Muslim Mosque. What does that mean to you and maybe more over your family, Nazim? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, anytime you get, you know, you're the first to do something, it's it's quite an honor and, and, uh, and a privilege. So... You know, obviously, uh, you know, this is, you know, a, a dream come true. And, you know, I could have never really imagined it, uh, you know, getting to this level and just kind of reaching out to so many people and, and, you know, specifically the youth and the next generation and just, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, inspiring some people. So could you ever imagine walking down Oxford or walking down Victoria Park that, that this would have, like, can you go back to, 13 year old Nazim Kadri walking around London and imagine what you're about to do tomorrow? Uh, no, no, I can't. That's, that's the best part about it. So, you know, I think it's going to be a real surreal moment for me. Just, uh, you know, obviously, you know, being a hometown kid and growing up there and knowing every, you know, nook and cranny of that place and just being able to, you know, physically bring the Stanley Cup and have it in my hands and, um, you know, have everyone share that and just kind of walk the streets. I used to walk as a kid. Um, you know, certainly going to be uh, a special moment for me and, and one, I, you know, I probably won't forget. No, nah, you won't. Honestly, like, so John Madden grew up in the neighborhood that I grew up in, Toronto, Scarborough, North York kind of area. And he brought the cup to our local. And this was, you know, when the, when the New Jersey Devils won the cup. This is a few years ago now. Dudes still talk about it to this day. So uh, just soak it all in. It's, it's going to be absolutely amazing. I, I'm going to go a long way here to get to a question. But you did go through a lot last year. Uh, your wife posted some of the hate and nonsense that you faced online. Some folks were shocked by it. Some denied it. But I'm almost sure it's something that you've gone through more than a few times in your career. I would love to have the magic words to end stupidness like that. And, of course, I denounce it. But growing up in a multicultural neighborhood like I did, uh, I also know by just your name alone, you represent a lot of little kids in this country and beyond. And there's a saying, adversity makes men. Do you feel like facing that adversity, Naza, may open the door for others and maybe even help us get to a point where the next Nazim Kadri doesn't have to face that, or at least as much. Exactly, and and that's kind of why I've been so open about it, right? right. Just to, uh, you know, because sometimes when this thing, when these type of things happen, the people that it's happening to are often, you know, ashamed and embarrassed, and you know, that's, uh, you know, it's it's obviously okay to feel those feelings, but at the end of the day, you you can't let that drag you down, and you gotta. Um, you know, it's the adversity that you got to face. You, you understand that there's ignorant people in this world that, you know, are, are uneducated. And, uh, yeah, man, that's basically what I do it for is uh, just try to be as open as possible because I know people are watching. I know kids are watching. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they might face it 
uh, you know, once or twice in their lives. Hopefully not, but it's just the reality you kind of have to, uh, you know, understand. And, you know, it shouldn't be something that uh, gets you down. Without a doubt. I'm with you, and it hasn't kept you down because you are going to have a celebration tomorrow in London. And and maybe I've heard a little bit in Toronto, and I, I got I to bring it up. Like, we got folks in London watching. We got folks in Toronto watching, and we got folks in Calgary watching. So let me get a couple questions in for Calgary. Like, are you excited about what the Flames might be next year? Of course. I mean, that's why I signed there. So, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to get down there and just meet the guys and uh, – you know, just you put some uh, faces to some names and uh, excited to uh, to see what, what next year brings. Obviously, I think we're a team that can compete and can contend. And, um, you know, that's always exciting as a player. I said on the year that you might be a Daryl Sutter type of player. Have you been able to chat or spend any time with a coach yet? <laughs> yeah, I have. I have. I've talked to him uh, several times and you know, we kind of share the same vision. And obviously he's got that championship experience. And um, me coming off a of Stanley Cup, we can kind of, you know, relate in that aspect and just kind of uh, know what it takes because we understand how hard it is and and, uh, and kind of what you got to go through to uh, to get to that pinnacle. So, um, yeah, we, we, we have a lot in common, and I can't wait to just get down there and, uh, you know, give it, give it everything I got. Does maybe playing for Hunters prepare you for playing for Sutter's? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've played. I've been fortunate, you know. I've had yeah. some great coaches, and, uh, you know, throughout my career, and just you know, some some Hall of Fame type guys. So uh, you know, I understand uh, what it takes, and and uh, you know, obviously, I've I've had great relationships with those guys, and you know, Daryl, I don't think it's going to be any different. And oh, there's part of you that wanted to stay in Toronto with the Leafs, and that's maybe why the Calgary deal didn't happen the first time. Um, there are Leaf fans who, who didn't want you to go either. There are Leaf fans that wanted you out, but there are Leaf fans that were ride and die with you. Is there a message to the ones that were kind of sitting at home and with their team out cheering for Colorado because uh, they saw that familiar face that was Nazem Kadri? Oh, there there were so many people like that. I was uh, actually, you know, uh, it was overwhelming for me just to understand, you know, how much the city uh, was just backing, backing me up and, you know, wanting me to uh, to get it done. So, you know, and that, that kind of uh, gives you a little more of an incentive and, and keeps you motivated. So just, uh, you know, wanted to get it done, obviously, uh, for, for myself, my family, my teammates. But, you know, those fans watching, uh, I know I got a lot of Toronto supporters as well. So uh, I'm just thankful, you know, I got to, to share that moment with them. That's awesome. Listen, I've been to a couple. I've been fortunate enough to be to a couple of these days. Uh, it feels like a wedding day to bring the cup back to your hometown and beyond. So, my dude, uh, congratulations on the last couple months and, and enjoy tomorrow as much as you possibly can. I will do. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Nazem Kadri.